Yeah, this is my second year on the tour, and it seems like it's getting bigger and better. Uh, it's neat when people come around and they're actually really interested in your plants, and a lot of these people were really knowledgeable. But some of these people wanted to know what they could plant in their yard that could sustain the heat. And uh, so it was nice uh, educating some people. And uh, I like sharing my garden with other people also. I always had a passion in gardening. I grew up in Kansas. My dad was the president of the garden club, so we always had a nice yard. We were always out working in the, in the yard. We had every vegetable and fruit you could think of in our yard. So uh, when I was on my own, I had the passion still. I liked taking care of my grass, my sod, and also the shrubs, plants. Um, love the beauty. I pull up every day and I see beautiful bouquet of flowers and shrubs in my yard. The native grasses are great because they've really perfected the grasses that don't get too tall unless you want a barrier, but they have different textures, uh, different flows, gives you a, just a different look. They've also perfected some of the Indian hawthorns. There's probably about four different Indian hawthorns that you can use. It's not the old traditional Indian hawthorns that people are used to in their houses. Abelias are another one of my favorites. They give you color, not just green, and they bloom, and again, they're hardy to our climate. So uh, variegated yuccas is another one that I like. So uh, a lot of different plants, and then perennials, I, mean, I mean shrubs, but different types of perennials. People need to get perennials in their yards. Perennials come back every year, and you can get, you can name almost every color, you can get them. And uh, it's nice to have pockets of annual color. A lot of questions on my sod. It's a zoysia sod, and again, they're perfecting sods. Uh, zoysias come out within our climate, about four or five of them that do well in our climate. This is a cavalier sod, so it likes a lot of full sun but it, it grows really thick so it keeps a lot of the weeds out and it's supposed to grow slower and, and needs less water. So they keep on perfecting these sods. There's a new Zeon that they're saying is a, the holy grail of sods with zoysia. So uh, we, I'm in the landscape business so we are planting a lot of these zoysia sods now. I'm gonna say each week, I'm gonna say monthly, I'll come out here or when I go out, go get the mail, I'll see some weeds, I'll, I'll, I'll pick a couple of the weeds out. But really don't spend a lot of time um, I'll cut back twice a year, the perennials, but if I see something getting out of control, I'll just come out here and um, spend 10 minutes at a time. I don't spend a lot of time out here. Um, I have some guys that come out and mulch twice a year, so that's very important to mulch. But other than that, just me tinkering with it, I, I call it tinkering, um, just a little at a time.